What's up, everybody? Welcome to our first real unpacking of Magic the Gathering Booster Decks. Today, we will be doing Hour of Devastation. So, Hour of Devastation is the 75th expansion in the Magic Universe. Um, and second, the Amicot block, it was released July 14th of 2017. So that being said, it's 2020. These are three-year-old booster packs. So, you know, something a little different. Local card shop, book stand. Thanks for selling them to me. Um, the Hour of Devastation contains 199 cards, which is eh, not bad for a booster. Other than that, um, 15 basic lands, 70 commons, 60 uncommons, 42 rares, 12 mythic rares. And includes some randomly inserted premium versions of the cards. Um, of course, the expansion symbol represents the horns of Bolas. No big guy. Came Planeswalker. Wasn't originally, but he did become one. Um, while the previous set mostly was top-down design inspired by Egypt with some top-down Bolas. Um, Hour of Devastation is mostly... Top down bolus. <laughs> What's up? Top down legit. Um, the R&D pulled back significantly on this. Um, but without much further ado, we're going to go ahead and, you know, just. I hate to say it. Crack it on open. As that just sort of falls apart almost in my hand. I sort of feel bad about this because it's. You know, three years old already. When's the next time I'm even gonna see one of these? But there it is. There's the back of it. You know, when this elite player battles for glory. Oh, which actually is, I thought was an advertisement, is actually a cat token. I know, it's sort of hard to see right there. So, what I'm gonna do. For the duration of this, I am going to bring y'all down on my level so you can sort of see what's going on here. So we have Proven Combatant. Excuse me. We have, which is, of course, common. We have Dauntless Avian. Blur of Blades, Bedra Bow Sharpshooters, Marauding Bone Slasher, Beneath the Sands, oh, First Land Card, Desert of Fervent, which of course enters tap, it will add you uh, one mountain mana, or fire mana, depending on how you want to go. Uh, Seer of the Last Tomorrow. Graven Abomination, Artifact Creature, Horror. Ooh. So, yes, everybody, there's something I don't get to see very much anymore. It is an Artifact Creature that's a horror. We got Steadfast hum uh, Sentinel, which is a human. And there's another land, Ently River. You can... Tap it, then you get a colorless mana pool. Or you can pay one life and tap it and get an island pool. Circle. Uh, Burning Fist Minotaur. That's not bad. Sun Scourge Champion. Which is a human wizard. And finally, our rare in this booster is... Swarm Intelligence. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may copy that spell. You may choose new target for the copy. Awesome. And of course, an island for a land. Well, you know, three lands. And no shiny stuff. So we've got, of course, pack number two. We're going to go ahead and see what's in this one. Which, of course, 
Another one which should be another token, which is great. I don't really a warrior token with vigilance. So we got the bullet pool servants. Zombies, white zombies. The camera scrapper, jackals. Proven Cabandit, human. Ronus stalwart. Forest. Grizzly survivor and blue black mentor. A rampaging hippo. And our grave in the abomination. And our death of sentinel. Our desert of the fairy. Uh, imaginary threats. Instant. Ooh, my first gold card. Resolute survivors. Human warriors. Uh, Dunes of the Dead. And then we've got, ooh, legendary creature, human warrior. Drew with eyes wide open. My gold, and we got a shiny, which is the Naga Druid. The Oasis Ritualist, and of course we get nice fancy mountains. Well, that is the end of going through those two packs um i'm going to try to be doing this once a week um one video here on youtube and another video on my patron which you will find in the description down below um there you will probably see a little bit better quality of the video because i will be using my iphone 11 max to record that video um, you won't have the big intro that, of course, my YouTube channel has because it's strictly for my patrons. You already know who I am. They're coming there just for the content. So please, if you like what you see, become a patron. It helps me out. It will help me eventually get a better camera than this hunk of junk I'm still using, which, believe it or not, is not a factory laptop camera. It is a piece of junk Logitech. Um... So, yes, look forward to next week of having a couple more boosters go through. I am going to try to have them with a older deck, something pre-2020. And I would love to find some 7th edition stuff to throw in there. Um, other than that, there will be one magic lock coming in this month. Off of well, no, I take that back. There's two coming in. I've ordered two. There were two magic lots coming in off of eBay, and of course, I will be recording when I get them and have them and start going through them, see what kind of rare, shiny stuff like that we get. Um, so like I said, one lot will probably go on my Patreon, and the other will be here on YouTube. So I really want to thank everybody for stopping in. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Come check me out on my Patreon account. And until next time, when we go through some more Magic the Gathering cards. And one last thing before I go, I will be doing Magic the Gathering, the arena on Twitch. I will have a schedule up soon enough for that. That is the last thing.